I'm Liam Mucklow, Product Manager for FSX Pro Software from Foresight Sports. Let's dive in and take a look at all of the new features that we're bringing to this professional-focused software product. First thing, really simple to get going. We wanted to make sure we get a lot of, you know, just one-click features. Even here, you can see with the new clubs how easy it is to actually get in here and start to hit some shots. Now, I'm going to start off with these bottom tiles. A new feature here for Foresight. You saw some glimpses of it in the FS Performance app, but we've really increased the utility of this. So not only can I, you know, very easily determine exactly what data points I want to have up, but for the first time, I'm actually able to go ahead and reorganize them. I really want to be able to tell a story with the data. Now, we'll go ahead, we'll hit a shot here, and you've already noticed some pretty interesting stuff happening with the camera. You know, as you take a look, you can see that we've actually created a full 3D environment that gives us an even better chance to actually visualize the data from the shots that we collect. Now, the next thing I'm going to take a look at here is I want to show you a couple of the new parameters. So let's get there. Good. Now we've got three shots out here. And if I go to my tile menu, I want you to spend some time down here. But quite simply put, we've added new group data so you can understand the total dispersion or accuracy of any club that you choose to test. Over here in this left-hand column, you can see that I've got what we call a shot panel. And this really just serves like a ticker tape to show you the clubs and outcomes from the session that you're currently in. If I go here, it's really easy for me to alter the data that's shown in the shot panel. And you know what, if I wanna maximize the view downrange, I can go ahead and just drag that right out the way. I've got some one touch controls right here. They're gonna make it really easy for me if I wanna alter tags. So you go in here and you've got fresh software. It's as easy as just entering any tag you want. And they're all gonna be saved. If you go into the settings menu, you can actually create groups of tags so you could sort them based on say like a brand or shaft flex or even drills that you might use in your lessons. And we've also, as you'll notice here, automatically changed the colors of each shot in high contrast manner. So it's really easy when I get here into compare mode to differentiate between the different clubs that I'm looking at. And let's now start to tour some of the different views we have in the main container. So I'm going to go up here to the flight view and let's get these dispersion circles on. There we go. So uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to uh, I'm going to look here at the shots in red. So dispersion circle, that's going to be the smallest possible circle that encompasses every shot that's hit. Okay, and I'm going to go and hit a few more here with the green one. And let's start to see how that can really, you know, open up. So now I can use the shot panel to toggle what I see and what I don't see in compare mode. And right here, if you take a look, you see that green plus sign? That's the average landing point. And that dotted ellipse around it shows me the consistency or one standard deviation within average. And that's really useful because it can give me an idea how to expect this performance to transfer on the golf course and help me build useful targets for any of my clients. Now, here's our views that we're really used to seeing the club views. I mean, that impact point measurement, that's one of the things that makes Foresight Sports, you know, the go-to launch monitor out on tour. But we wanted to try and make, you know, just make it possible for the professional to present data, you know, sometimes in, a, let's say, a little more digestible way, you know, to try and have greater impact, sometimes by reducing the number. So you can see now I've got full control over exactly what view I want to provide for the player. And if you take a look, I can also toggle certain data points off and on. I'm going to give you a quick look here at the table view. And once again, this is designed with professional function and use for comparative analysis. I've got this same menu where I can decide, you know, any or all of the data points I want to have in the table. And from there, I can organize it any way I want to tell a story that resonates with the golfer I'm working with at that time. If I want to bundle it all up and put it into a report, 
All I got to do is click reports up here and that's going to mirror the view you've got on your main container driving range. Now, one of the other things that I want to give you an idea of is what your client is going to see. So if we go down here, you're going to get an idea of what that driving range view is going to look like. So again, we've created an entirely new 3D environment and, you know, we've also got some of the let's say tried and true features that you're used to from Foresight Sports like this chase cam. If you take a look a little different than times in the past, this time we keep the camera oriented looking downrange center target to try and give a perspective of where the golfer was trying to hit the ball instead of just, you know, exactly where it's going. Anyway, I hope that you love using the FSX Pro and we're always looking to hear feedback for how we can continue to develop better products.